Here we up and going. Shalom, shalom. Come here, shalom. Just want to start off by saying, Call hello, Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim, Rakan Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And doing well. And by the Spirit, Taurus is beautiful. I just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh about you, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. My name is Yachinan Nawap. When we come out on these highways and byways to let you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that you are the true Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. You're not blacks, you're not Hispanics, you're not Native Americans. Not Haitians, Jamaicans, you're not any of these names that the so-called white man gave you when he colonized you. They know and understand who you are. They know that you are the biblical children of Israel. You come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel or Yashala in the Hebrew tongue. And you come from one of those 12 sons that he had, which makes up the 12 tribes of Israel. And the reason why we're so downtrodden is because, first off, it's prophetic and um, also Hey, we, we, we just disobedient and we're a, 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 a real hard-headed and stiff-necked damn people, man. And the Lord is sending us out to extend a hand to basically wake up the elect of Israel because he's not dealing with no other um, people other than the elect of Israel. Only the elect of Israel. The Lord is not even dealing with all the Israelites. So he, you know he's not dealing with any of you heathenish-ass nations of people that's running around talking about the Lord loves everybody. The Lord is not some blonde haired blue eyed white guy. His name is not Jesus. The Lord's name is Yahawashai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. And the true name of the Father is Yahawah, which means that he exists or the existing one. That's our power. That's who we're to call on. We're not to be associated with these heathen and their heathenist gods, especially not um, um, white Jesus. That's one of the main stumbling blocks of our people. That idol, because that's an idol. The letter J was invented in 1524. So there's no such thing as a damn Jesus. And if you go up into the word, the word Jesus actually means earth head. And it's a transliteration. It's not a translation of the Lord's name. You know? In the Greek, they say Jesus, but the Lord is not a Greek. They tried to translate it from Hebrew. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Yehoiada. His name is Yehoshai. That's his. That's the name that, that the angel gave to Mary. That they named um, 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 the, the the son of God, and he's not God. That's another thing that's um actually being um taught. He is a, a a God. He is a power, but he's not higher than the Most High God, the Father. So Christianity, White Jesus Christianity. That's some bullshit. Get completely away from it. You can clearly see that it's not winning. It's not. It's losing. They're accepting all manner of wickedness in those churches. You got um the LGBTQ that took them shits over, and it's been that way anyway, because there's no truth in those churches. So the Lord is sending out the men of of, of his, sending out his prophets to let you know that we're living in the last days. It's high time to awake out of sleep and time to wake your ass up. And if you don't and you're attached to America, you're going to be burnt to smithereens along with all these, these, these damn Edomites and these other nations that are here. Because America's not going to last, man. America's not going to last. This place is falling on a day-to-day -day basis. But let me get, um, let's start with Romans 13 and 11. the easy to read version it says I say this because you know that we live in an important time yes it is now time for you to wake up from your sleep our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed now this was spoken of 2,000 years ago and since all the, 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 the prophecies are playing out we can clearly see the prophecies playing out we can see um, 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 Babylon the Great Fallen this, hey, America is in a complete spiral, man. This place is circling the toilet fast as shit. It's like it's coming to that point where you see the, you know, that toilet swirl and it, it makes that little sound where you know it's done. Hey, that, that's a pretty much 
about where America is, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. Let's get verse 12. The night is, the night is almost finished. The day is almost here. So we should stop doing whatever belongs to darkness. We should prepare ourselves to fight evil with the weapons that belong to the light. And that's a good translation. What are these weapons? First off, the true name of the Father is the weapon. Yahweh. The scripture says that the Lord's name is a strong tower. Right? You got camps out here that's teaching that we don't know the, the name of the Lord. Who the hell are you praying to? You're just jumping up, just praying, uh, Most High Christ, bless. IUIC with that bullshit, the Lord gonna destroy y'all niggas, man. He gonna break y'all up. It's, it's gonna be soon, too. It's gonna be soon. After you trip up enough people, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, everyone that's doing this work, they're either doing it on the left-hand side or they're doing it on the right-hand side, right? Some people are going to stumble because the Lord wants them to stumble. He don't want them to get this truth. And some are going to wake up to this truth and they're going to actually wake up because they are the elect of Israel, which is the Lord. That's the only people that the Lord is dealing with when it comes to this truth, his, uh, his predestined elect people, man. Right? So in the true name of the uh, Yahweh Shai, that's another weapon. The names are the weapons. Those are the main weapons. You can't go to prayer without the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. How you going to pray? Who you praying to? The scriptures talks about there's many gods, lowercase g. Who you praying to, your homeboy? Who you praying to? Are you even praying? Because if you're praying, you got to be praying to somebody. And if you're praying to somebody, I think it would be best that you know their names, right? So let me get this back again. It says the night is almost finished. The day is almost here. So we should stop doing whatever belongs to darkness. We should prepare ourselves to fight evil with the weapons that belong to the light. And again, you got to know the true names of the Father and Son, Yahweh and Yahweh's side. And prayer is one of our most powerful weapons. But you can't pray if you're not praying in the names. Who are you praying to? Yahweh's side is the mediator. You can't just go before the Father. That's the reason why the son was sent, the ultimate sacrifice. He's the mediator between us and our father. He's the reason why we can speak to our father through him, you know? So you Israelites that's out here teaching that we don't know the name, what, 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 what it doesn't matter, what, what they can just um, um, pray to Satan. Because pretty much that's who y'all praying to by, by, with that Christ shit, that white Jesus, white Blonde hair, blue eyed white Jesus. Hey, you, you, you're praying to a damn demon, man. You're praying to an idol. And you're teaching our people to do so. And there's going to be a lot of blood in your hands for that, man. Right? Here you go out here. You got this big ass congregation. You got 2,000 fucking men marching up the streets uh, yelling some goddamn war orders as if you're in the American army. Man, you can spread those men out throughout all, all over the city and let them go out and teach the scriptures and, and, and bring this truth. Hey, don't the scriptures talk about um, praying for more laborers for, because of the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few? Here you go. You got all the damn laborers all grouped up doing nothing. To do nothing. Doing nothing. The fuck is you marching for? Put two of those men on each one of these corners. Man, you can flood the city, man, with, with, with the gospel. You marching up the street trying to make a damn scene, man. Trying to look all uh, look at uh, do a motherfucking um, um aerial views and shit from drones. Trying to make it seem like you're you're just this. Come on, bro, that carnal shit. Fuck that carnal shit, man. We got to use the, the the spirit, man. Moving the spirit. Use the scriptures. You out here marching with two thousand men? They don't even know the name of the Lord. That shit is retarded, bro. And the Lord gonna deal with y'all, man. As a matter of fact, I know the uh, the. Brother brought this scripture out. I think I was listening to somebody yesterday. Hadn't heard it in a while. But man, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. And you know what? That gift destroyeth the heart. Hey, of course, you know, hey, we get pissed, man. We try and keep our blood pressure down, man, dealing with these guys, man. These, these, these guys, man. <laughs> 
You'll watch yourself, man. You'll blow your damn blood pressure, man, dealing with these fucking guys, man. Because you'll be listening to the bullshit they said, and it just pisses you off. And then a gift destroyed the heart. You know what? I was just looking at a story before I left the house. I didn't even read into it. But um, John Lewis, they done, replace, they done put a damn statue of John Lewis up in the, in the place of, um, what the fuck is that? Uh, one of them statues. One of them racist ass General Lee or whoever the hell statues. And these fucking white people pissed, man. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, your number one damn enemy, he's pissed with you so-called Negroes because he's starting to see that all his, his, his shit is being torn down. Let me see. Uh, John Lewis. I think it was the day they put it up. Yep. It's locked. Uh, yep, it says statue of John Lewis. Let me see. It, statue of John Lewis replaces more than 100 year old Confederate monument. See? Let me get that again. Statue of John Lewis replaces more than 100 year old Confederate monument. They got the video and everything. Hey, these fucking so called white people, they pissed about shit like that. But guess what's happening? Guess what's happening to you so-called white people? Hey, your kingdom is falling. Matter of fact, let's get, um... Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of, of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Hey, come down and sit in the dust, Esau. Your kingdom is up. Come down and sit in the dust, bro. That's a fall of, of your kingdom. Just think, a hundred years ago, a nigga couldn't even look you in the eyes. Now they'll whoop your ass you try something with them. That's a fall. That's a real fall from, 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 from the top, baby. Hey, that's Lucifer falling, man. When the Lord said he seen Lucifer fall like lightning. See, y'all thinking that it's some damn guy with a red with, with, with a red spandex suit on with horns on his head. Satan, he done fell from the skies after having a fight with the Lord one weekend with it, with, with the angels that disobeyed. Y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about, man. That word Lucifer is going up into light bearer. And Esau Edom, the so-called white man, or the elite of them, those are the number one light bearers on the on the left hand side. But Yahweh's side and the men of the Lord on the right hand side, they are Lucifer as far as the right hand side, um, 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 illumination, so to speak. See, they get that word all mixed up. People see that word Lucifer and they lose their damn minds. They really think because Esau done gave them all these stupid ass movies. He done gave you these dumb ass movies of these creatures. What Satan should, he done gave you a vision of what Satan should look like. Well, actually it's fucking him. The physical counterpart of Satan on this planet is the so-called white race, man. They are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And why? Because they're in, in, in control of everything. They're in control of everything, man. You think that you're going out and you vote for Kamala? Supposedly a so-called black woman, which is up in the air. You know, I'm, you know, I don't know, you know, I can't call it. Either way, she's wicked as hell. This woman is out here and she's running on your emotions of the so-called black woman and you being able to abort your babies. And y'all, y'all falling for the bullshit. Y'all out here about to go and vote for this bitch in droves, man. And you know what? The, the, the so-called black men, they not with it. Other than a bunch of damn simps. So-called black man is not with going out voting for Kamala, man. They, they more willing to go vote for Trump, which he's wicked as hell too. You're not supposed to be going out and voting for any of them. But our people, they ready to rock, man. And all the people that's ready to vote for Trump, they voted for Joe Biden and Kamala last time. And seeing that they didn't do nothing. I seen a video with this so-called black woman. I think it was um uh, uh that diaspora, African diaspora uh channel. Which were not fucking Africans, but she was going in on Kamala, a so-called African lady or whatever. And she had a clip of, of, of Kamala telling you so-called blacks that she wasn't going to do nothing specifically for you niggas. She said it straight up. She like, nah, I ain't doing nothing specifically 
um, um, specific for you so-called black people. If I'm going to do it, it's for everybody. It's for all Americans. See, she's not looking at the fact that your ass is far behind. You're like 500 years behind everybody. And that you need extra help. But she's giving help to everybody else. What do you think all those aid packages are going to Israel over there in Ukraine and all these different places? They take a tax money out of your money to send to all these different places. But she's saying, nope, I'm not doing nothing for y'all specifically. I'm doing it for everyone. See? She don't know that there are different ethnic, ethnic groups that need different attention? How could you be a leader and not know that? What did she run on before? I mean, come on, bro. And y'all, y'all keep falling for the okie doke, man. But that gift destroyed the heart. And that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, see, they, they give you a forfeiture. I mean, they give you um a Martin Luther King day. They'll give you something like Juneteenth. I remember when they um they put that, that statue of Martin Luther King up a few years back. That was another gift that destroyed the heart. See, as soon as you niggas start to kind of awake, awaken, and you start to see the bullshit going on, they give y'all dumbasses a holiday or a statue. They gave y'all a damn George Floyd statue, but this motherfucking a white beater, bro. And y'all fell over, y'all y'all was all in love with it. So that gift destroyed the heart, man. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Matter of fact, let's get that. chapter 4 verse 6 let me read it in the ERB I never read it uh, easy to read version my people are destroyed because they have no knowledge you priests have refused to learn so I refuse to let you priest so I will refuse to let you free so I refuse to let you be priest for me Salakia. you have forgotten the law of your God so I will forget your children okay let me read it in the KJV though my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are Israelites. This is who the Lord is speaking to. The Lord has never left the Israelites, man. You don't come in, you don't go from the Old Testament, the Lord crushing every damn nation on behalf of the Israelites, and then you get to the New Testament, all of a sudden, he has forgotten about the Israelites and he loved everybody else. But that's white Jesus Christianity, man. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. And you got to realize, too, that when our Lord, before our Lord was being crucified, the Israelites was like, hey, let that blood be on our, our hands, our children's hands. Roughly paraphrasing. Right? So here you go. In the reincarnation in these last days, you got the that generation of people back on the planet, and you can clearly see the Lord has forgotten about the children of Israel, man, as far as these monsters that's running around out here. Because they don't want nothing to do with the Lord. So if you don't want nothing to do with the Lord, you don't want to listen to him, then guess what? It's going to trickle down or from the from the father in the home. It's going to trickle to the wife. It's going to trickle to your badass kids and even your damn pets, man. The Lord will destroy your whole goddamn lineage. Because you don't want to listen, man. All this damn wickedness going on out here, y'all. Don't want to listen to the Lord. We're clearly in the last days. You can clearly see it from all the things that's going on around you. And Jake's still out here bullshitting around, man. Still out here in party mode. Let me check the camera real quick. So lock you. Camera to go down. Still up and going. Yeah, man. Jake out here following him behind Esau shit, trying to beat Esau. I mean, want to do everything this man is doing. He's wicked as hell. How the fuck you the, the salt of the earth and you want to be like some corny ass people? These people don't have no type of rhythm. They don't have no type of swag. Just running around looking doofy as hell. Almost like wasted. They, they, that's wasted away as he, man. These motherfuckers don't have no sense of nothing. They just walking the earth. Those are the useless eaters, man, you ask me. <laughs> Straight up, man. Get Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. The ERV version it says, Don't envy those that 
Don't envy those who are violent. Never choose to be like them. And this is what the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are doing, man. They love fucking Esau. They done took Esau's whole game plan to a whole nother playing field, man. Jake, wicked as hell, man, following it behind this man. They'll do whatever for the money with his face on it. They'll kill their mama, daddy, sister, brother, damn children. Jake can become wicked as hell, man, in captivity, man. And Jake has made captivity a party. So see the when when the next stage of punishment comes through, it ain't gonna you ain't gonna have no 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 captivity to go into where you're just gonna make the best of it. No, the Lord is about to demolish your ass, man. Right along with Esau. Y'all fuckers are about to be goddamn crackling twigs, man, on a fire, man. When that, when that thermal nuclear fire comes through. And you're going to be praying to white Jesus when it happens. You're going to be praying to a goddamn idol when it happens. Possibly with pork chop meat in your back, too. Just never know, man. The Lord might come through on a Thanksgiving while your ass sitting down eating fucking chitlins or something, man. Um, um, to the to the murder, rape, rob, and pillaging of your own people, the Gadites, man. I was watching Family Feud yesterday. <laughs> it was a Jake family against an Edomite family, and, and they went sudden death. You know, you get to the end where it's just like a not enough point, so it's just one question. And it was something to the extent of, you know, um, which holiday do you um uh, pretty much over drink, so to speak? You know, uh, uh Jake. Jake hit the damn buzzer. I'm like, yeah, Jake, they're about to win this shit, man. They about to get it. This fucker said Thanksgiving. I'm like, ah, oh, man, ain't no goddamn Thanksgiving. It's gonna be New Year. See, the so-called white man, he knew. As soon as he said Thanksgiving, you can see the rel the relief on his face. Like this stupid motherfucker. He said New Year's, and yep, so-called white people won the game. Some doofy ass Jake walking up. He had on one of those um Italian shirts. You know, he looked like he was dressed of uh, you know mid 1990s. He had those loafers on. You know, with no goddamn socks, you know, semi flood. I'm looking like young Jake. He runs up there and talk about some damn Thanksgiving. I'm like, out of all the fucking holidays, man, you should have never mentioned no damn Thanksgiving. You know? But these are the things that our people are into, man. Our people are into vain ass holidays. Even the Lord the Lord told us about that in um in Jeremiah chapter 10. Come out of this place, man. You're supposed to come out come out of this place. What the fuck you 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 trying to envy Esau for, man? Esau is about to this place is through. Ain't no coming back for this place, man. And y'all and y'all going to vote for people to try and make it come back. Crazy, bro. Jeremiah chapter 10. Verse 1. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. See? If you would just read the beginning of a lot of these these letters or a lot of these um these books, what you'll see is they start off by speaking to the children of Israel almost every time. Or it's got something to do with the children of Israel almost every time. But you got these damn Christians, they want to add everybody in and say, see, it says whosoever. You know, if I'm saying whosoever in my house, it's just me, a few people in the house, you know, hey, whoever wants some um some pizza, let me know I'm about the order. I'm not talking to the fucking people across the street or the people next door to me. Why? Matter of fact, they can't even hear me because I'm within my, my house, within the walls of my home. I'm saying wh whosoever. Then when the pizza pops up, everybody from down the street is going to say, well, we thought we heard you say whoever wanted some pizza come by. No, nah, nigga. Pizza not for you. This truth is not for these other nations, man. This truth is for the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And you need to come out of the customs of these fucking heathens, man. Because they're going to get you destroyed. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. Why not? If the heathen is so goddamn good and we're all supposed to be together. Why is the Lord saying learn not his way? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Why don't the Lord want you to learn the ways of the heathen? No, see, in the kingdom, the heathen going to learn the ways of the Lord. He's going to learn your ways. He's going to learn the, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. 
And that's the way that it's supposed to be in the earth right now. That's the reason why the earth is so out of whack. Because it's not, the, the, the wrong people are ruling. These so-called white people, man, you give them another 20 years of running this place. Hey, they're on the brink of having the whole fucking place blown up anyway. Only people you hear talking about World War III and nuclear war is, is, is so-called white people. From the Russians, to the NATO nations, to the United States. You don't hear no Africans talking about, oh, yeah, but whoa, 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 whoa. You know, got a damn bone in their nose and talking about how World War, how they want to start World War III and they talking about nuking somebody. You don't hear the Chinese talking about nuking nobody, man. I mean, even that Edomite, as far as in Russia, you know, um, um, Vladimir Putin, he don't seem to want to, but he, he still speaks on it, though. That's an option that's on the table. He, he ain't taking that option off the table, man. Matter of fact, he changed up his nuclear doctrine. He's not taking that off the table. He's ready to full-fledged hit them buttons if anything look like it's out of place. Right? And that's a part of the end days prophecies. Those wars, rumors of wars, the things that Yahweh Sai was speaking of, he said that would be happening in the end days. Right? But the Lord said, learn not the way of the heathen, man. I was going off into this yesterday in a lesson where, I, look, the shit that these people think is absolutely zero, man. It, it don't, it don't flinch the needle on nothing, bro. What moves the world is this word. Why you think they get so out of, out of, out of fucking place and out of hand when they see the men of the Lord out on the highways and byways teaching the downfall of this place? If they didn't think that it was somewhat true, they would just be like, oh, them niggas crazy. Let them teach the Bible. They don't know what they're talking about. Let them just say what they're saying. They're not bothering anyone. No, this truth is really ripping the asses to shreds, man. And behind the scenes and up top with the elite, they're really trying to stop this thing, man. And there's going to be soon the famine of the word. We see it coming. We see the famine of the word coming through. That's not going to be long, man, before Esau gets to shutting down internet systems. We, he already practicing and doing this little data, uh, 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 Checkouts, you know what I'm saying? With these these little blackouts, you notice you've been having all these blackouts on um, phone systems and shit going down. You know what I'm saying? So this is what he's doing. He's already ready in the system. I seen an article on uh, when the blackout went down. It was 20 years ago. 50 million people lost power. That shit was crazy. I remember that shit. I remember that whole eastern seaboard was down man and, and shit was chaotic too that was back then 20 years ago so imagine now today and Esau just setting shit up man you got that MOTB that's about to roll around but let's let's go to Matthew let's get straight to the point Matthew chapter 24 verse 3 I've never read it in the ERB, so let's check that out. We can see. It's not real jump. If, it, if, it, if these translations are sounding off, some of them come in handy, but if they're sounding off, just jump back to the KJV, man. King James Version. It says, Later, Yahweh Shah was sitting at the place on the Mount of Olives. The, the, the followers came to be alone with him. They said, Tell us. No, not the followers. See, see, they, they, no, the, see, that, that's a, that's a, um, a bullshit translation because when you go into the scriptures, uh, the apostles was ask, actually asking the Lord, why are you speaking to the, to the people in parables? Why not just be straightforward with a rough paraphrase? And the Lord said that it's because the mysteries are given to you and not them. So this right here is replacing, it's saying followers, the followers came alone with him no it's talking the disciples came alone so let me get let me get into kjv that's what i was saying about some of these translations the followers he had gotten away from them he's with his disciples when they asked him this this is not just some random person asking this question right in the kjv the king james version and as he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came unto him privately see that's a huge difference in, in, in the way that they try to put that um that passage, man. They try to replace it with the followers. 
yeah, the disciples were followers, but you're trying to make it seem as if just somebody just was, in, you know, just randomly listening, ran up and asked the Lord this question. No, they waited until pretty much, you know, they was in privacy when they asked the Lord this. It says, um, and as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the end of the world. So the disciples are privately asking the Lord what's going to be happening, right? Before he comes. And so they next verse they have Jesus verbatim, but we're going to say Yahweh Shai because we've already gone through the process of the Lord's name, Yahweh. That's the Father's name, is Yahweh, which means he exists, or the existing one, and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior. Or deliver in the Paleo Hebrew. So we're going to use Yahweh Shai. Though it says Jesus, but we know that there's no letter J in Hebrew. No letter E, no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. We're going to put the respect on our Lord's name like it should be on it, man. We're not calling on no goddamn idols. You know what I'm saying? We're calling on the true name of our father Yahweh and the true name of his son Yahweh Shai. So it goes on to say, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Many people will come to lock you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am. We don't even use Christ. We say Mashiach, the anointed one. And shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So all these things got to come to pass. These wars and rumors of wars that we're hearing about. Iran, you know what I'm saying? You got that Israeli shit. These motherfuckers trying to fight two different wars on one front. You got um um uh America, which is supposedly be helping them. They trying to fight four five damn wars at one time. So it's all and in and, and Israel, the scripture says that the least of the flock shall draw them out. So Israel is gonna draw America into the bullshit, and eventually it's gonna be a wrap anyway. So that's how we know that that MOTB, that mark of the beauty and the beast, gotta be soon, man. I was watching the, um, the Apostle of Tahar before I left the house. And he's constantly doing videos on the MOTV, man. Constantly. And he's constantly telling us to do it as well. Right? Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes been going on all past the past two weeks. You we just had one in um a nice size one in Japan with a tsunami warning. A couple of them happened in um in California. So earthquakes are going on all over the world. You got famines that's going. Hey, look, turn on your channel and get some real news on Palestine and see how them famines tearing their asses up over there. They got scabbies and shit growing on their face. They got open sores and shit. Hey, that, those are pestilence, man. Famines, plagues and shit, man. That the Lord has let loose on those people. Right? So he's using one set of heathen to destroy another set of heathen. Which they're all going to be destroyed. It's not about to be none of these people over there, man, in the land arguing about it's our land when the Lord comes, man. Israel gonna get their fucking asses demolished. It's just gonna be rebuilt. But America is gonna get that real super duper, man. America's not coming back. You know? I'm literally prophesying in a desert right now, a future desert. America's gonna be a future. This is a future desert, man. As you ride through your car and you just just look around you and, and look at the beauty of everything. All this shit is about to go. Your Grand Canyons, your 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 Yellowstone National Parks, all those beautiful, pristine places, those nice lakes. All that shit gonna be sucked up, man. By the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei outside when them chariots come through, man. And nuclear fire hits this place. To go along with the destruction from the, ter the chariots, man. Verse 8, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So we've entered into the beginning of sorrows out here, man. Let me check the camera again. I just left the house, kind of forgot a few things. I left my water bottle and everything. 
It's a lot, but we are still up and going though. That's the best thing. Gonna get in there for a little while longer, y'all will rock this off. Yeah, man, all these are the beginning of sorrow. And this news is all out of hand. And these, hey, the Jewish people, they catching it right now. It is not looking good for the so-called Jewish people on the world stage now. Because more and more information is starting to come out that they're not the real people, that they were converts. More and more news is starting to come out and show the, the vicious war crimes and shit that they're committing over there. The IDF over there, uh, man, they, 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 they great. They are a P to do so, so cold, they fucked the boys' intestines up. And these are supposed to be the so-called men of God, man. That's committing sodomy on damn prisoners over there, man. That's crazy. But, but it's not surprising. That don't surprise us. We understand, you know, um, who, who we're dealing with, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. So Esau know that he has but a short time. So he's going to come down with that great wrath soon. Let's get that real quick. Revelation 12 and 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And don't get it twisted, you know, when you, when you hear that word devil, or you see that word devil in the scriptures, that is not talking about a white guy in a red spandex suit with some horns on his head, which he is a damn devil, though. He is Satan's counterpart. He is a damn deceiver. And that's what that word goes into. Deceiver, man. Not some red guy underground. There's no imaginary place underground that's burning, man, where people are going when they're bad. It's not scriptural, man. It's not in the Bible. You so-called white people that have been teaching all this bullshit for centuries, the Lord is coming to strike your asses down, man. You will never be able to tell another story. You will never be able to have your history, you won't write history no more, I'll put it that way. You will never be able to put down a, a, a bundle of lies about history and you being who, 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 who for sure you're damn sure not. You've written history where you're just this great person and you're the fucking devil, man. You're a deceiver. And see, now that these things are starting to come out and these things are starting to come to pass, now they're going to come down with great wrath because the people are figuring it out like, nope, we're not believing you. What Jay-Z say, uh, uh, we don't believe you, you need more people. Well, nobody's believing Esau no more. His own people are not believing. His own people are starting to see, goddamn, you done enslaved us. So-called white man is doing bad, man. I was just reading, a matter of fact, I, that, that John Lewis um, article where they were placing the statue. Hey, there's a so-called white guy on there. His handle, his name on there was Nigga Killer. N-I-G-G-A Killer, man. K-I-L-L-A. And he was on there saying all manner of, 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 of racism. He was pissed that they um they were placing um, um one of their statues with, with a Negro statue. As a matter of fact, let's get um. Yeah, he's pissed about that shit. You can't blame him, but you know, all great empires fall. This is the fall of Rome, man. Accept it, man. The same way that you rose up. See, Esau is not like Job. You know, Job says, you know, when the, you know, the Lord giveth and he taketh away. You know, Job didn't have no problems with because he understood the Lord. He's the one that blesses, man. He's the one that curses. He's the one that gives and takes away. He didn't complain. But what is Esau doing? He was blessed, but he only wants to be blessed. So now that the curse comes, the same one that gave him the blessing is about to give him the curse. Now he's pissed. Why you can't accept the, the, the curse along with the blessing the way that you accept the blessing? Why can't you just give it up? He's not going to go out like that. He's going to come down with great wrath. See, this man, is he doesn't have a spiritual bone in his body, man.
He doesn't, he doesn't see losing. He don't see the Lord giving and taking away. That, that's impossible for him. When the Lord take away from him, he's ready to jump off a goddamn uh, building, man. He loses it. They, hey, they, hey, you've been hearing about a lot of stories of the so-called white man. He's going home from work. He's deleting his son's daughters, the wife, the dog, and then himself after having a shot of brandy. Cigar still smoking when the, when the police officers get there. Plate still set at the damn dinner table and shit. The damn oven's still on, man. He he done knocked everybody off before dinner was even served. So he's not he's not doing so well, man. Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. This is what we're witnessing, man, and Esau can't take it. See, he was good with the blessing. He was good with the Lord setting him up. You know? When you go up into, um, what's that, Daniel? See, the Lord is fair, man. The Lord gave him a time to rule. But now it's time to go. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's like you go on a vacation. You're living in a nice room. You got that nice view. And then when it's time to check out, you don't want to go. The fuck you mean? You, you just want to stay. You, you you know what I'm saying? You you go fight with, with, with the hotel owner, concierge. You know what I'm saying? You're going to fight with the, the, with, the, with, the, with the attendants. You're going to fight with it. You know, you just barricaded up in the, in the penthouse room, not wanting to leave. No it's time for you to go. You Edomites don't want to make a smooth transition. Hey, matter of fact, Trump is your perfect example. He didn't want to make a smooth transition out of the White House. He was like, no, you cheated. I'm not going anywhere. Now his ass up all up on all kinds of charges and shit. You know, for uh, uh, voters, um, um, what they call it? Voters uh, 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 intimidation or voters uh, uh, interference, whatever the fuck you want to call it. When all of it is some bullshit. But that's the perfect example. Esau, he's going to go out in the world kicking, man. He's not going to just let go. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, he's about to do a real number out here, man, on y'all asses, man. That's why we're praying for mercy and praying for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to protect us in these in these end days, man. Matter of fact, that scripture talks about um keep me away from the man that had the power to kill. Let me get this first and I'll grab that with Yahweh Daniel 14 and 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. So the, the most high, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's ruling in this kingdom and every other kingdom of, all over the world. There's no man that's out here just, just doing what he wants to do, man. And that goes off into Proverbs 21 and 1. It talks about the king's hands are in the, of the king's um, heart, uh, 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 Salaki. I don't want to butcher it. Let me, get, let me go to it real quick. I'll come back to this. Matter of fact, I could have just brought up another Bible. Let's do it like that. Let's just bring up two Bibles. We can just case, just in case. Uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. See? So the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And the Lord dwelleth in, in, in these kingdoms, man. And, and he pushes the buttons for these, these guys to do what he want them to do. Because man's goings of you, how about Shimei was shot? But you got these proud ass Edomites. They really think that, that, that tomorrow they're going to be really doing what they want to do. So there's another one, Proverbs 27 and 1. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. And what does Esau do? This motherfucker, man, he got plans for 2075. He's got plans for 2035, 2040, 2050. He's, he's got projections. He's telling you about the earth being over, overpopulated. We're going to be here. We're going to need to do this. 
He really believes that he's going to last, man, that long. That's how proud this man is. But let's go back to, um, let's read up the rest of this um, Daniel 4 and 17. I'll start back from the top. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it, it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. See? So you have base men running the planet right now, mainly Esau, but China, the so-called Chinese too, so-called Japanese, so-called Arabs, Ishmael. As a matter of fact, all those ones that's on the list, all the ones that's on the list in Psalms chapter 83, the enemies of the Lord, the Lord is actually, he actually has them in power running the world right now. Mainly Esau, the so-called white man. The friendly neighborhood white man. Oh, friendly Mr. Rogers, man. Right? So let me go to, um, I quoted that one, Psalm chapter. Psalm 17, verse 13. Let's start there. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. See? The Lord created the wicked to be the to be his sword. What do you, what do, you do with a sword? You slash, you, shoot, you know, and, and double edge with it, too. You run it through you, man, twist it. You know, hit you in the in the right areas. You know? When you when a, a sword man, you know, swordsmen of the ancient day, they knew exactly where to hit you at. They hit you in a certain grid. They hit you in a certain position. You know, they knew arteries. They knew certain places to just hit your ass at that'll knock you off real fast. And Esau, he's the ultimate weapon maker. Right? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he's the ultimate sword of the Lord. And he was gifted with the sword. That's why he's so expert with weapons. No one is out making, uh, no one is gonna outdo um, Esau when it comes to weapon making, man. You got, um... So-called Chinese, they got a couple of things. You got a couple of other nations that's got a couple of things. But when it comes to those Russians and these damn Edomites here in America, ain't nobody touching them, man, when it comes to them weapons, man. That so-called white man got that shit on lock. Right? Next verse, verse 14, from men which are thy hand. So we know that these so-called white people are the hand of the Lord. On the left-hand side, they are the wicked. See, the Lord, he deals in, in tools, man. He deals with the left and he deals with the right. But you got these Christians talking about how the Lord loves every goddamn thing and loves everybody. That he only got that one emotion, love. Like the Lord can't hate and that the Lord don't kill, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39 tells you when he kills and makes a lie. He wounds, he heals. Neither is there any that can deliver out of his hand. You can also get that account in 1 Samuel 2 and 6. It says he killed and he make a lie. He bring it down to the grave. He bring it up. He make it rich. He make it poor. I'm not going to get away from that, man. But you got these Christians. They, they, they swear up and down. The Lord only got one emotion in that he loves your wickedness. He loves every wicked damn thing you do. He don't have no, 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 no qualms with you. He ain't got no beef with you. Go ahead. Just be wicked. That's what Christianity teaches. That's what white Jesus, the idol white Jesus, that's what they promote and teach in those churches. That the Lord, you can be whatever you want, come as you are, you can do what you want to do, and the Lord is going to love you. And that's going to get a lot of you niggas destroyed in these end days, man. Trust me. It says, from men which are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life. So they got their portion right now. They're a, matter of fact, a lot of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you got your consolation on this side as well, you rich men. You ones that's just like up, uh, you got the benefits of the Lord, but you don't want to acknowledge that he's true, and that he's real, and that he exists. You 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 got your LeBrons. I mean, you know, it, it's not impossible that the Lord can turn some of those people around. That's not impossible. Anything is possible with the Lord. But overall, they got their consolation on this side, man. And they live it like Esau. That's why I brought out that scripture that says, um, Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. See, Jake, they don't they don't want to just go by your daily bread. They're like, fuck that. I need uh, 
50 years of daily bread right now. See? But we're trusting in the Lord on a day-to-day -day basis for our daily bread. Jake want to go out here and, 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 and just hit the game over the head for the bag, and, and they want shit for the future, not even knowing what's going to happen in five minutes. Scripture says that those riches tell um, um, you know take wings, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Because you hey, it's plenty of Jake or plenty of people in general that, that have had plenty of money. It's billionaires that some fail, man. To nothing. To nothing, man. Just like that movie with Eddie Murphy, um, what was that? Trading Places, I think it was. Dan Aykroyd. With the Lord, I'm not mean uh well, you know, uh, in the movie, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think they uh, Lattimore, what was their name? Lattimore, whatever the fuck your name was. But you know, hey, hey, they was the rich men, the so-called white man. He was the rich man, him and his brother. And, the, and, and, and in the movie, they was brought down to them being homeless. And there was another movie where the beginning of the movie, it started off with them, Eddie Murphy. It was another movie, though. It was kind of dope the way they done it because the movie first came on. Them niggas, was on, they were some bums on the street, and he gave them some money. Anyway, though, but yeah, man, Esau got his portion in this life. It says, and whose bellies thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. That's Esau, the wicked. The scriptures clearly said that this, this man is the hand of the Lord. He is the wicked, man. He is the hammer of the earth. So what does he do? He rape, rob, he pillages, and whatever he, when he dies, he leaves it to his children. And his children leave it to their children. And their children leave it to their children. And you got the elite of Esau, you know, your Rothschilds and all those people, they understand reincarnation. That's why they'll generally have their sons in, in power, not their daughters. They don't let them women run shit because they understand that they're coming back in their lot after, a third, every, um, after every third or fourth generation. They're coming back into their lot. Esau understands that. See, Esau wicked as hell, but he understands the scriptures a lot better than you, um, you Israelites, man. Because overall, they're like they're the children of light. Those Illuminati Luciferians, man. Esau on the left hand side, and that motherfucker know everything. He's all out here. He's he's in the oceans, researching shit. He's all out in space, researching shit. This motherfucker know every animal, every insect, you know. Even though there are new species that's popping up. Because this world is vast, man. But Esau, he wants to really try and search it out. That Hey, he hasn't completely searched out the Earth, but he wants to go to Mars. He wants to go to the moon. Shit like that. Let me see what we had on the clock here. There's a lock. You got to check the camera, man. The cameraman kind of messing up on me. I'm at the just probably just investing in something else. We got a couple other phones in the house I can use, though. But hey, yeah, Esau, man, he's about out of here. Things are not working out well for him. Hey, they're committing a lot more of those um, deletions. They're deleting themselves. Um, overdoses are, are through the roof right now. Um, we ain't gonna even talk about road rage and all that shit, man. People don't have no patience no more. You know? You got a lot of people that's out here a lot of people are, are, are shortchanging themselves on their medicines, right? See, a lot of these people that's out here committing these crimes, a lot of this heinous shit that's going on, a lot of these people are not getting that medication that they was normally able to afford. See, medication, they, they, already, they got these people, everybody's a goddamn dope head, pretty much. And when shit hits the fans, and they run through all that shit, man, people gonna be out here. Hey, the average Jake that can't get a damn cigarette to smoke gonna bug out on your ass. We ain't even talking about the people that actually have to have, you know, they're, they're living off this medication, man. Keeping their asses cool. Straight up, man. And then you got regular people that supposedly they all right. They ain't even on no drugs or nothing. They fucking crazy as hell. Damn near, you know? So when shit hits the fans, it's going to be a lot of chaotic shit, man. This is why we're telling y'all to repent 
in the, in the name of the Father, Yahweh. I mean, so like it to the Father in the name of his son, Yahweh. Because we can see. We can see it, man. We can see this thing coming, man. We're warning the flock right now. We're warning the people that, hey, you may not even have an election. The way shit going, and if they, look, man, they talking about arresting Trump in September. We'll see what happens with that. I doubt it, but if they do, there ain't gonna be no motherfucker up in election in um, November. Trust me on that. These so-called white people, like the nigga killer that I was talking about on the comment board, that live in Texas, <laughs> and they gonna bug the fuck out. They gonna be running rampant. Hey, Civil War is gonna be all out, full-fledged in play if they fuck around and arrest Trump in September, or even if Kamala even win. If Kamala win that election, you already know they're gonna be like it was rigged. You know Trump, he gonna eat, that's all he, he's gonna be yelling at. They asked him if he will he will he accept the results of the election. He already talking like oh this shit gonna be rigged. And if all you Negroes got is Kamala and this so-called uh, what's this uh, the, the the first openly gay Jew, if that's all y'all got, man, y'all through. Y'all might as well stay at home, man. You should stay at home anyway. Because the scripture says to not put no one over you that is not one of your brethren. And Kamala, she's not supposed to usurp authority over the man. She don't have no business in no area like that. That bitch should be at home. She don't even have no kids. This lady don't even have no kids of her own, bro. How you that old, that pretty, and don't have no mother? You know, because you could tell she was a pretty lady back in the days, even though she got that old ass neck now. But how you go that long? So that that lets you know. I'm, I'm pretty certain she probably didn't have. She'd have probably deleted all kinds of um kids, man, during her lifestyle, her lifetime. You trying to tell me Montel Williams when she was dating Montel Williams? Montel Williams ain't pump her ass up. I'm sure Montel Williams shot that club up a few times. That's just me speaking as a man. So Salakia. But come on, bro. We talking about a woman running for president, and she's running on that shit, talking about abortion all the damn time, and, 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 and who she's pushing it to? You so-called blacks, especially you Negro women. These Negro women are having parties. They, they, all that money that she, she just got ninety million, I think, off the Joe Biden bullshit. They've been raising all these millions, but yet they'll do a commercial talking about, well, can you donate five dollars? The fuck out of here. They even got these Obama, Obama doing commercials talking about, yeah, can donate five dollars. And we can beat Trump this next election. You know that clown with them big ass ears, man. That goddamn hamite. They tricked you with that hamite. They fooled you into thinking that he was one of your people. Now they telling you Kamala, this so-called black woman that's always identified as Indian up to now that she needs your damn vote. But she could be an Israelite, I don't know. Anyway, she's a woman. She's not to usurp authority over the man, and that's that, man. So she shouldn't even be in the position of vice president when she didn't do shit. Lady ain't do nothing. Joe Biden ain't do nothing for y'all, man. That's the reason why a lot of y'all jumping shit trying to go vote for Trump now. Because they didn't do shit for you. But you might as well stay away from the voting um, whole, whole hookup of that, man. Because neither one of them going to do nothing for you. And why pledge your allegiance to this wicked ass place that the Lord is going to destroy? Because if you're pledging your allegiance to this place, you're basically saying, hey, look, forget you, Lord. And if you're pledging your allegiance to this place, overall, you're going to be one of those ones that's going to go and get mic'd up. Y'all going to be the same ones that's going to be running out in droves getting that goddamn implant because you're feeling like this so-called white man can save your life. He's going to save your way of living. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all better get away from this man. I'm telling y'all over and over again, man. Let me get one more before I end out. Isaiah chapter 31 and verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And this is spiritual Egypt right here, man. And stay on horses and trust in chariots 
because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. So our people are dependent upon the so-called white man for every fucking thing they get. Now, are we in captivity? Of course we're in captivity. Do we have to go to them for one of all things? Of course, because that's the, one of the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. But we have to go to them for one of um, water, thirst, food, um, um, the clothing on our backs. Yeah, we got to go to them for that. But we understand that it's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that's giving them the power to be over us. So it's still the Lord. So if you're going to them, we understand and know that it's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that's providing for us. Just through them. They don't get it. They don't understand that. We're not going to him like, oh, yeah, Master. Get, no, no, no. We're coming to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the water Yahweh for our daily bread. And then we got to get what we got to get. Hey, we got to get. The scripture says to use the world and not abuse it. We got to go and do what we got to do. We're in captivity right now. The scripture says to be wise as a serpent or harmless as a dove. We move through this shit and we 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 use God, so to speak. You know, because we hate Esau ass, man. But we got to act like we like this motherfucker to do what we got to do. We can't just go to the job site and be like, oh, yeah, you fucking Edomites, you know, whatever, whatever. You're going in the slave. Nah, man, we got to be. Hey, how you doing, sir? You know, they don't need to know every damn thing that's on your mind. Right? But you going down to Egypt for help as if he's the one that's actually really your provider and not giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's where your problem lies. That's where you're going to be destroyed at. Right? So for why don't you Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for provisions, man? Matter of fact, a few chapters up, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength and salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So this wisdom and his knowledge is going to be the stability of our times, man. Not fucking Esau. The Lord said his servant shall eat, his servant shall drink, his servant shall ha have joy. Right? But joy that's running in behind Egypt, he says that you're going to have vexation of spirit. You're going to be howling, man. Roughly paraphrasing. And you don't want no parts of that. Get the fuck away from Esau, man. Let this so-called white man go and vote for each other and let them fall together. Because Esau looking at you so-called blacks, especially you so-called black women, they looking at you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans as you're the fall of their country for voting Democrat. They won't have no problems if you were voting Republican, even though they don't give a shit about you. But because you vote Democrat, they feeling like you're the source of their fall. When actually the Lord is the source. He's, he's making them fall. It's just time for their kingdom to eat. They don't get no more time, man. The Lord is not going to add no more time on the clock for these clowns, man. They ask us out of here. As soon as that clock tick down to zero, click, done. You Edomites are going to come out of that motherfucking penthouse, man. Y'all ass is going straight. Matter of fact, you, you're not even going to the basement. Y'all ass is going to the dungeons. Only time you're crawling out, you're going to be crawling out of them damn dungeons early as fuck. Getting yourself prepared to get to work. Because you're going to become slaves in the kingdom, man. The roads are going to be reversed. That's why I say about Esau, man. He loves being on top, but he can't accept the fact of the fall, man. He can't take on that Job role. He can't, matter of fact, let me end out with that. That Job... Esau can't take that Joel role, man. Shalaki, bear with me here. Yep, Joel 2 and 10. And this is his hey, wicked, hey, this is his wicked ass woman, too. Let me go into this, man. You wicked ass women, man, in these last days, the Lord got something for y'all asses too. And you, you brothers, you men of the Lord, man, don't let these women get in your ears, man. We're living in the last days. We have the end of this thing. If that bitch want to step, let her step. If she's trying to get you out of this truth, 
Get rid of her ass, man. Let her ass know, no, no you, hey, look, ain't nothing happening. You don't come over the Lord. The children don't come over the Lord. And nothing else comes over the Lord, man. Let her ass know that. When all that goddamn pillow talking, chattering in your ear, man, about we need, well, we got to eat. But she's going to be one of the main ones that's going to scoop up the children and take the asses to be implanted, man. You get the boo-hooing with that shit, let the asses be destroyed, and they'll come back on the other side. Don't deal with that, man. Because check this out, what, what Job's wife said to him. Job 2 and 9. And his wife said unto him, and his wife said to him, are you still keeping your righteousness? She basically like, well, nigga, stop being righteous. You, you might as well just be wicked, nigga. Say a curse against God and put an end to yourself. See, that's the BBE version. It's locked here. Let me read it in the KJV. That's a good, that's a good translation, though. Matter of fact, the ERB says his wife said to him, are you still holding on to your faith? Why don't you just curse God and die? This is the mindset of a woman when there's nothing there. And, and, and matter of fact, she got that spirit of Esau on her, man. That's the way Esau is. That's the way Esau gets down, right? As long as everything is going good, Esau is perfectly fine, and the so-called black woman is perfectly fine. But let a little bit of heat come. Let a little bit of bullshit hit. And you're going to see how that woman really is, man. When 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 distress calls, you're going to really see if she's down for you or not. And a lot of the times, it's more than likely she's not going to be down with you. Because they can't, she can't stand pressure, man. That's why you, man, you got to be on point, man. And I'm speaking to myself. KJB, it says, then said his wife unto him, doest thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. Right? Verse 10 is the point. But he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaking. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of Yahweh? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. So that's the thing with Esau. He can accept good, but he can't, he can't accept evil. See? Job was, he kept his integrity. His woman wanted him to be like, man, fuck the Lord. You still, you still praying? I can imagine her, bro. Because when you, when you go into this story and you can really imagine everything that was going on, he lost his children, sons and daughters, he lost his cattle. He just lost everything. He was fucked up looking. I can imagine her just looking like, God damn it. Why don't you just go ahead and curse the Lord? You still praying? You still believe? See? And see, no matter how rough things may get, man, we still got to keep that mindset that the Lord is in control. Because things are going to get rough, man. We all going to go through some rough patches, man. I just came out of a phase of little rough patches. And I'm still kind of, you know, we all going through something daily. We all got something going on. But what? You still got to keep your integrity. Pray to you, how about Shimei Awashai, that you know what I'm saying? He'll keep you, man. That he'll better you in your situation. Because you're being battle tested. You going through infirmities, man. You going through ailments. You going through the car breaking down, losing a damn job, losing your woman, losing your kids, losing the house. Hey, man, you're being battle tested. What that does is it makes you callous, man. You're war ready. Sitting around with everything going good, that don't make you war ready. Turmoil, man. Affliction, man, puts you through the test of of of. Uh, matter of fact, that 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 goes off into um. Salakia. Sirach. Is it Sirach? Let me see. Salakia. Bear, bear with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. See that? It's supposed to be constantly enduring. Being battle tested. The thing about being battle tested, like the Lord is just putting me through this, you know, I'm going through this, but I'm going to come out the much better. You're going through that furnace, man. Cleave unto him and depart not away. 
that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. See, that's the point right there. That you will be increased in your last end. And, and being increased in your last end is going to give you more patience, more temperance, more knowledge, more wisdom, more understanding. You know, those things, quality of the spirit goes a long ways, man. Those are the riches of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh really, man. It says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. See, Esau, he's the microwave man. He's, he's the drive through at McDonald's man. He doesn't have no damn patience. He's not waiting till the, 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 the end of the matter. He's trying to squirm his way out of being uncomfortable and getting back comfortable. Same way with the woman, man. Esau can't stand the lowest state. See, see, Jake, we're in our lowest state. We're in our hell in his high, high estate in his kingdom. So when those roles reverse, he's not going to be able to take it. Even though we were going through it. He can, he can look at us and say, well, okay, well, that was a long time ago. You know, um, everything, you know. But when you say that he's going to go through the same thing we went through, he loses his fucking mind, man. And mainly the so-called black woman, she's the one that's out on the highways and byways, gathering abroad, fighting for his cause. She ready to fight with the prophets, man, over this man. Right? For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. Perfect precept. See, so as you go through adversity, that's how you're going to be battle challenged, man. You're going to be stronger on the other side if you make it through it, man. If it don't break you down and your ass just running and you got to just, you AWOL, you know, you they got to give your ass a dishonorable discharge because you just an act of a damn fool, you know, you know, had a damn mental breakdown, man, through and doing boot camp. Nah, man, we're praying to Yahweh about Shimei Abishai to help us to, 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 to make it, man. Strengthen us, oh Yahweh about Shimei Abishai. That's why this, um, um, that Luke 21, I keep saying I'm end out, but let's, let's get, um, Twenty-one and thirty-six. It says, "Watch ye therefore and pray." And this is Yahweh Shai speaking, because it's in red letter. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to make to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. See, all the things that are going to come to pass, you got a better chance of, of making it through those things because the Lord has battle tested you already. Got those scriptures with with embedded in you. The wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. That Isaiah 33 and 6 is upon you, man. You know? But we're praying to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai that we're accounted worthy enough to make it through all the things that are to come to pass. See that right there in itself? That's wisdom. To be because I the average person is not gonna be praying to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai about nothing like that. They just gonna be going through it. And using their carnal wits to try and make it, then the shit is not gonna work out for them. They're just gonna be demolished. Right? Pray that you're accounted worthy enough to make it through all the things that are to come to pass, and accounted worthy enough to stand before the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai. That's the main goal. That, that's the marathon we're running right now. That's the race. And matter of fact, it's getting to the point where you know we're running this marathon. You know, I prayed to the Lord, I think it was yesterday, you know, about, hey, a uh, matter of fact, today, that as we run through this marathon, let us know when to turn on the jets. You know, you get to the end, now it's time, you, you done say something, you haven't completely completed yourself, you done say something for the burst. Now you need to burst. We're at that point, man, where it's about time to burst now. We, we see the line. You don't want to be done, done so much cramping up Charlie Horse. Hell, even if you Charlie Horse, you better limp your ass across that line, man. You know, you're running that marathon. You're grabbing waters off the side. You're splashing. Trying to keep yourself cool. You're keeping that pace. Then when it's time to burst, boom. You sprinting now, man. So that's what we're looking forward to, man. So, you know, in these last days, hey, man, it's, it's just high time to awake out of sleep. Because we're definitely there. You can't get around it. All the prophecies playing out. Then that Second Timothy two and three, perilous times shall come. Amen. All oh, that's playing out. 
uproars and the people are playing out. The people are coming up against the government. You know? So we're about to go into the next phase, the next stage, and we're praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that we are ready for it, man. Right? So we're going to end out there. Double honors again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say for water to all the Akim and Aqwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. And with that, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom, man. Stay on point. We almost out of here. The Bible ball.